Hello guys, I'm Daily Fix and welcome to the Split Warlord campaign. Now we got ourselves a rattlesnake. I uh, spent all of my money on it, and so we're kind of broke-ish. But with the two working factories, the refined metals as well as the silicon wafers, we are starting to generate a very, well, nice income. For today, what is planned is we're going to be using this ship. As um, as a bit of a boarding ship, raiding ship, so we'll, we'll have to prepare a few things like a galactic warning on large Argon ships that we could take over. Because I am quite interested in mining ships, transporting ships, and we're going to be staying away from um, the large... Military vessels, uh, the reason for it is the following. So, say we are dealing with the Argon Federation. You have here the uh, the main battery that is from the Argon Federation. And it has a range of 10 kilometers. Projectile speed is quite good, so I'm going to be assuming like it will hit you a hell of a lot faster than with the main battery on the rattlesnake which is just it has a less effective range 3.3 kilometers holy crap that is a lot now in terms of damage it does better uh but if you i would love a ship that can fire further than this because this is 6.3 I'm, I'm curious about a large plasma or a large beam weapon so we need to go to turrets large beam is five okay that's good how about plasma pulse 5.9 plasma oh 6.9 oh dear uh that's terrifying that is quite terrifying, actually. Uh, this doesn't matter at all. A mining barge won't shoot you. But if we're going to be attacking stations, we need to keep this in mind. The effective range, and that's effective range. Now, they say effective. It's actually the range that they will start shooting you. So if we can just hover outside of his range and just stay in the, uh, what's it again? Oh my, uh, 6.7? Wait, let me see that again, because I think... Yeah. We are going to be hit by plasma weapons sooner than we can shoot our forward main batteries. Terrifying, actually. I don't like that idea at all. So, yeah, we have to keep that in mind. That, that, that the, uh... What's the name again? I lost the name. Uh, the rattlesnake main battery is just not too interesting to attack stations. Uh, maybe we should go into different ships because, well, this ship actually has. Uh, let's get ourselves into this uh, large. Then why do I always lose him? There we go. So he has forty small ships capacity and he's one docking so we can actually use this somewhat as a carrier i say somewhat because one docking port is not too interesting so i was thinking about getting free designs so we have the asp which is not a bad ship at all uh the warrior medium asp i designed so it has the uh the gatling guns and the tau Maybe not the best. Let me know in the comment section what you think would be a good design for this. So, it has a speed of 386. This These would be the ships that I would probably use either as interception, uh, just to intercept targets. The Heavy Fighters, which has a lot of cannons, is actually also faster. Why would I use the S if I can use this? I think it's because of the... Uh, the turning radius. Let me check that out real quick. Uh, 557, uh, 101.9. Yeah, okay. So it, it turns a bit faster than the S still. If we can use these for interception, well, maybe 
Scout. I uh, designed this. That's fast. I think that is the fastest ship, isn't it? 456. Yeah, that's the fastest ship. And I was thinking, why not use this as a torpedo ship? Uh, it's been mentioned in the comments, so thank you for that. Uh, and I think it's actually quite interesting to use a scout ship with a torpedo launcher. We can use this to defend against a large ship. So we could set that up to be heavy torpedoes. And we'll just have to really be careful on what they shoot. If we want to destroy a ship, or a station for that matters, uh, we can use a, uh, a buttload of these ships just to annihilate stations. Because of the effective range on the large weapons and the medium weapons, this ship will just go really far. If it gets hit, it, it's basically gone. <laughs> so this, it's, it's 951,000. Not that bad. Let me know what you think about adding some of these ships. For now, we, um, we're we researching uh, production module hacking. I did the basic engine mod. I had to restart that a few times because they gave me a ludicrous course to travel. I needed to go over here and then travel all the way over there. There was no way. And I got myself a scout ship from the Pyranid. So that didn't work. I ended up resetting the course. They sent me to Napoleon's Fortune. Got over there. I know there is a, tr um, a data vault over there. But I didn't care about that at the time. So I went over there. And they then just sent me like over here. Which was so easy. So, so easy. Difference of night and day. If you ever have issues with the, the racing course they present you. Do yourself a favor. You reset it, because you, you don't want that. I've also decided on the following. I'm going to be bringing back the uh, the Helldiver 1 and 2. I sold them off. Was a mistake. I think uh, they were named ship. It's a bit of nostalgia going on. We need to provide them eventually with a base where they can just look, look gorgeous. And we can actually just decide whether or not we use them. Because right now, the Milkman is a military ship. I cannot do... Any missions in the 11th hour in Guiding Star and, and ju just to get more money. So I've been waiting. And waiting is not good. If you start playing this game and you decide it. Hey, I'm going to be playing like some idle phone game. You're playing the game wrong. There is a lot of things to do. You just need to figure out a way to get it done. Like using a civilian ship like a mining barge to get into somewhat hostile territory. As long as the... Uh, the enemy isn't uh, above, I think it's like 25. You're safe. So with the mining was they they will not be doing anything that harms your civilian ships because they clearly state that uh, combat ships. Here you go. They will target your combat ship. That's it. Uh, these guys they don't really give a crap about anything, which is good. So, I should not have sold off my Hell Diver 2. Let's quickly get that, and then we'll get into the point of the video. Otherwise, I'll be yapping constantly, and you know me. Uh, that will make, that will take a while. That's quite expensive, the combat engine. But it is quite good to have that. But I might have to upgrade that later. Competent Mark 3, some shields. As for weapons, we decided back then to go with Pulse because they have better precision. And we'll get... Apparently, Beam is great to keep shields down and to do anti-missile stuff. And then I'll go with... I don't need Plasma because we will never fight heavy ships, uh, large ships to do a bit of more damage. I'm thinking Shard. Docking computer, that's all good. We'll just go with Flash. Uh, we'll provide it with more stuff later because I don't need to do that right now. Crew is free. And I'll set the beam turret to be missile defense. And this will be attacking fighters. This way, I hope I will never lose this particular ship. And we'll call it the Helldivers 2. 
to hell divers too there we go add that to shopping list i don't have the money for it that's perfect eventually you'll see that ship uh appearing for now let us get on with the point of the video uh we need a alert create a new alert and we'll call this argon uh large like the xenon maybe large argon to keep it in the same format like this Yeah. Yeah, why not? Now, we are going to be adding... Large ships. And it's going to be from the Argon Federation. I don't care. Well, I say I don't care, but I kind of do care where they will send this alert from. Let's quickly save the alert. Let's take a look at where do we come and see large Argon Federation ships. Well, we can see them in Wretched Skies 4, Wretched Skies 10. Uh, but if they come in Wretched Skies 5 or Heretics End, that would be perfect. I do plan on dropping advanced satellites over here so we'll have a bit more coverage. So, Heretics and Wretched Skies. Uh, let's start with adding uh, those two. Uh, Heretics and Wretched Skies. Then? That was it, right? Confirm changes. Did the alert just trigger? Yes, uh, it did trigger. Well, do we care about the Antigon? The problem that we have right now is we need to figure out what it is that we want to do. And this is Rest of Sky's fight. Yeah. In order for us to take a look if it would be worth it, let's check out the Patreon. Are you joking? Oh, they are enemies. Okay, so the Antigon, the Argon Federation, and the Terrans, the Vega Syndicate, and the Buccaneers. These, these are the factions that we'll most likely target. Let's take a look if they actively have hostilities with the Antigon. And in order to do that is... I think they do. I don't think they would mind. That's perfect. Oh, this is... Perfect then. Let's let's start this operation right away. I can talk about it or we can just do it. Let's go. Sentinel. That's going to be our target. Uh, let's do third person. Okay, let's set you as a target. They're negative 15. I'm going to hope that we uh, do not get a negative relation form. Now, I don't need to fire any shot. And I think right now everything is disarmed. I do that because, well, uh, I just don't need to damage the ship. Right now, the shields are low. Okay, let's go first person because I want to see what we're doing. And once we're near, we're going to be dropping the Marines. We're going to be starting a boarding activity. And this will be our very first freighter if we are successful. Stop. Go long range. Go, 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 go. Come on. Come on. Wait, that's not allowed. Uh, it's actually it. Ooh, that's a lot of crew though. Uh, how does the crew composition look? 
Uh, not a lot of marines. Still, this uh, this might be too much. I think we risk it. Let's go. Boarding action. I'm going to be maintaining distance. Just put them on strong. Strong. And drop in 60 recruits. So the boarding resistance is going to be 260. And the boarding strength is 7. And we're going to be starting the operation. And it seems like everything instantly triggered. They don't have too many weapons. And I'm not going to be shooting at them. That's fine. Requesting immediate backup. That's fine. Just don't worry about it. Let's do quickly do this. Because that could be a cool thumbnail. Kind of need it like this. I'm sorry I do that. I do that all the time. Just keep going. Contact. Making preparations to Let's get the heck out of here. Now, we did not take a lot of beating. Which is fine. Acknowledged. How are they cons doing? So we lost two pots. And we're currently infiltrating. Now, I... Don't know if this is going to be enough. We'll figure that one out. We currently have our hunting ground, so to say, to deal with uh, the Antigon, the Argon Federation, the Terrans, and the Buccaneers. I will add them to the list later and I will fine tune it a bit more. Right now, I am just going to stay here now he will sometimes shoot at me and i'm sure he will do his utmost best to ruin my day but all we can do right now is sit and wait yes being a pirate is quite dull <laughs> it is quite dull uh got around pyramid so elephant an elephant from the Patriarch. Definitely don't want to mess with him. We're just going to wait and see if that will happen. Let's uh, let's see. What can we do right now? Now, I did not have enough money for the other ship. Let's take a look. Do we have more? Yes, we are actually making good, good monies. And I like that. Let's go back over here. Three million should be enough to get ourselves uh, the Helldiver 2 again. Let me quickly set that up. Oh my, guys, finally, it's finally happening. Well, look at this. The Xenon are currently attacking. Now, as you can see, the Helldivers 1 and the Helldivers 2 are back. We are going to be getting... I don't want to lose this ship, so I'm just going to be bailing out of this. We should be safe-ish. Uh, so, definitely clear all of that. Let's go towards the Milkman. We can actually teleport all that way. Now, it is time. We are going into combat. And it's not going to be something. It is a full-fledged invasion of the Xenon, which is perfect. I've been waiting for this moment for a long, long time. So, let's see how well this particular ship is going to be doing. We are not too far away, but they have started the uh, the build of a defensive place. So, let's go. I'll be flying it myself because of, uh, well, how well the uh, AI navigates into asteroid fields. We might be losing the ship. And I'm very, very excited about that. Well, not losing the ship, but going into it. This is our target. Let's set that target up. The rest, well, there's a rattlesnake killed. This is going to be a tough, tough fight. There is another carrier coming in. Ooh! Now, the boarding is still going. And it will be 
a while and I do not think we are going to be successful. But I did want to give it a go because, well, it's the entire point of this video, right? If we were luckier, then they would not have as much crew, but we're not. Now, one of the things, though, is we are starting to weaken that ship. Every time we see that particular ship and we'll send in marines, it will have less and less crew. Eventually, that ship is going to be ours. Now, if we can get that ship without firing a shot, then I am all in favor of that because we don't have to repair it. We just have to either strip and sell or start using it as our so-called um, trade ships because that is something we can do. We can upgrade the BOAs to uh, just assist in small stations and then use the level 3 pilots to fly large ships. I think that would be perfect. That is going to be it. So there is another Wiring fleet. Mineral. But that is a mining fleet, so that's not going to help us. I'm curious to see what will be happening here. So, yeah, a lot of these ships heading over... I think we will win that. That carrier is doing a very, very good job. But we need to deal with that large. Okay. Do not kill it before I get there. I would be somewhat furious. <laughs> because I've been waiting for this moment for quite some time. I still think I need to upgrade these combat engines, maybe. To other engines. But we'll see. We have four torpedoes that will head over there and we will be getting paid for this. And then we'll start dealing with the rest. So when we're close, I'm going to be dropping like so. And they're out. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I should not have done it like this, but I did. Did me like now. Do not hit me. I'm still traveling quite fast. And they did 40 damage. Just do not get hit by these. I say that. Instantly getting hit. Yeah, I know. I know. We need to get the heck out of here. Just letting the shields recharge. I'll worry about the damage later. Like I said, if I die, I die. Simple as that. Don't need to be hit by those. Makes no sense. Let them go. 22% should be enough. The rattlesnake is awaiting orders like always because he doesn't know what to do. But we took a lot of damage. I think, yes, that ship is now destroyed. And I think we did it. Yeah, that looks Gorgeous. M. Okay, let's uh, let's clean up. Let's clean house here. That rattlesnake has absolutely got it. Now, do I do agree the M. way we ha I handled, and I say we constantly, I know, but the way I handled that uh, particular fight. Split, sorry. Just do not kill me, mate. Split, sorry. Oh yeah, wow, they are making short work of them. Let's uh, destroy that particular ship as well. Thank you. Right, what we got? We got 600,000 for blowing up that large ship. It's perfect. I love it. Uh, we spent eight... Eight turrets? Uh, eight missiles? Yeah, eight missiles, something. Let's uh, also start triggering the tractor beam. And you can hear in the background that uh, currently... The Marines are attacking. Uh, like I said, I don't have too much hope for it. But uh, we had to give it a go. We had to try at least. Combat. Well, I quickly pick up the loot. Okay, so I just picked up uh, the majority of the loot here. Uh, let's quickly take a look now. As for the rating, it doesn't look uh, all too good. We actually got ourselves... Quite a few uh, programmable field array. We've got six of them. And I sure this hell did not save them from other engagement. So I think for now this particular assault is done. And 
I do want to take a quick look on how much damage we took. So let's go ahead, fly towards the uh, maintenance post over here, the equipment dock. Also, yeah, it doesn't sound like they, this is going to be a winner of a fight. I also want this ship to just come back right now. Uh, wrong one, sorry. Disengage. Quickly set you back to go... There. And then the rattlesnake. Let us, for now, just pull back right over there. Just tell them to dock and wait so we can uh, resupply uh, the ship with new troops. If, uh, if this is actually failing. Uh, I did do a tiny bit of work on the Argon Antigon Buccaneers and uh, this is not Duke, it's Buc, I think. Yeah, Buc. Buccaneers and the Terrans. Uh, I will be adding more systems to this whenever we expand. I'm also thinking about maybe adding Hatik for choice, but uh, there will be a lot of Argon Federation activity going on. And I think that would be bad. I'm also thinking the Xenon are pushing through because this station is taking some damage. What else would be a good place to hunt Argon Federation? Well, you have Black Hole, Black Hole Sun, the Vigor Syndicate over here. And the Vigor is also usually fighting in Silent Witness. No, I don't think there's too many places where we can fight other than the Argon Federation territory themselves. Every now and then, there is a this ship, a large ship, that will go through these sectors. And they went through uh, Takas Cascade. And they will go all the way over here. And I don't think that that would be an ideal one to go. For now, let us just wait for the uh, the ship to arrive at its destination. We'll see what kind of loot that we got. If it uh, did do us... Uh, well, I kind of head bumped into the ship, which was kind of stupid. Guidance over there. I think the boarding might have failed because it's been relatively quiet. Let's take a look if we can see it. Uh, would it be in here? No, these are just the pots that are under attack. I wish there was a different way in, uh, in which we could take a look at how boarding is going. That would have been cool. Anyways, uh, I'm going to be, uh, going there manually because this autopilot is, uh, useless. And I'll meet you there, see what the damage is, and we'll slowly start preparing for the next engagement. Hopefully we can find another large ship. With less crew, that would be ideal. But yeah. Okay, let's take a look. We got 600,000 for the Xenon battleship we destroyed. Successfully docked. Let's upgrade and repair. So, we took... 82,000 on damage, and uh, we spent some missiles, so, well, actually, yeah, it's not bad. That's not bad at all. Uh, we spent 210,000 to acquire 600,000, which in my mind is, uh, is great. Now, let's quickly take a look Hello. at the loot. Once we sell it, I'll keep like 12, and I'll definitely want to uh, keep one programmable field array for uh, when we ever get a SATA. SpaceX, I will keep, I will not be selling them. We didn't get any lodestone or remote detonator, so yeah, that's definitely not really helpful. Let's get these books. 12 should be enough. So we actually, we uh, we got another 730,000 for actually getting towards that engagement, which is, well, what can I say? It's actually quite good. Now, the boarding news have been extremely quiet still. I've not heard anything. I, so far, I've not found any news on it. So I'm just going to assume that... 
it failed, unfortunately. Well, we'll just get some new marines. And then we will go back out there, see if we can find them. But that rattlesnake is still waiting over there, isn't it? No, it's not. It's still around. How many crew? Can we just transfer? Oh, we can just transfer crew. Never mind this. Remove that. I want you to go fly away over here. And we will be transferring crew from the rattlesnake, which is uh, not the easiest way. But, you know, you gotta work with what you have. We have this rattle. We have this uh, this ship. How much crew can we have aboard? Only six. Maybe we should invest in another ship that will just leave at a dock to transfer crew around because that is going to take me sixty. Okay, well, I'll I'll go do that. Okay, so the final one to transfer the crew. Uh, this actually has been going pretty fast. Uh, so, not complaining about that, but having a, another ship that has more crew members just for this would probably be way better. Now, keep in mind, the crew is currently traveling. So, yeah. Keep, keep, just, just. Remember that. It will take a while for them to actually get that. Get three new service crew members. And that is done. What else is going on in the system? So they are still slowly attacking. We did take a blow with the loss of one rattlesnake. Which is, you know, not ideal. But we could have lost a lot more than that. For now, Let's teleport back to the rattlesnake and start looking for a new target to play around with. We'll just leave the ship over here. Entering system, wretched skies. Now, if uh, for some reason the boarding is actually still on the way, and which I really doubt, then we can just transfer those newly acquired marines to, well, another ship. And for now, I kind of think we'll be going to Heretic's End. And I might, might need to see... Do I have some... I do not have satellites. We need to start lighting up Heretic's End. It's, uh, it's quite important that we start doing this relatively fast if we want to make this a active profession. So to say, yeah, profession would be good. Uh, let's get ourselves. Can we get a scout? And we're going to be using it eventually as our very first bombing ship. Uh, but for now, low preset combat engines mark one. Uh, prefer no weapons because I don't want him to be playing a hero. We don't need that. Computing, yeah, sure, why not? Let's get. Can we get 10? Yes, we can. We're just not at this station, which is... How many can we get? None. Normal satellites? Hey, I'll take what I, what I can take. We just need to... Uh, make a... Bit of a... Well, we need more coverage on this uh, particular system, as well as Heretic's End. So, I'll just wait until that ship is done, while I'll take... A position over to heretics and uh, we can already start by just killing these guys and there is look at this a boring construction vessel that means that there might be other construction vessels that uh, I clearly have an interest in if we can find the base of these guys and we can start attacking that it will take a while but it would make it safer for our own ships Oh, wait, that's what I'm hearing. We have ourselves a Argon Federation construction ship. Vanguard. Where do you think you're going? Let's take a look. He is heading to Boron territory. Well, don't mind me. Usually they do have a lot of crew. Skies. Mammoth. Let's Vanguard. go. 
Well, we should be a lot faster than him. He will stop to make the jump. They usually do have quite decent turrets on the top and on the bottom side. I just need to scan him. If, if he has like 80, I think we can work it out. If he has 108 like the other ship, then there's no way. Also keep in mind, as long as you do not shoot, you most likely won't get a negative penalty. We're going to be hunting him down. We might trigger a Boron cinematic. So I do have to be... Ah, damn it. That was definitely not my intention. But we'll, uh, we'll see what happens. If it triggers a cinematic... Then that's that. We have a lot of other things we need to do. But at least we have a rattlesnake now. And we can do boarding operations. Uh, and actually accumulate quite a good amount of cash. Entering system. Watchful gaze. Okay, so he is in our rear. There you go. We'll uh, we'll definitely scan him. I wonder what he will do. Since this is a military vessel, well, the, the builder isn't. Let's get closer. Come on. All right, let's pause. Let's take a quick look. Oh, boy. Yeah, there's no way. There is no way. They got some passengers, a lot of able crew members. It's too much for us to deal with. So I'll, uh, I'll definitely take some time looking for other ships to, um, well, to board. And maybe we'll get lucky. And if we do, then um, I'll definitely show you the results. For now, I think this is a good point to uh, end this particular video. Not much has happened. We uh, attempted a boarding of a large freighter that failed. We... Took out a Xenon K, the very first kill with the Milkman. That was a large ship. And we transferred a lot of crew over. Yeah. And that all in an hour. Oh my god. Anyways, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you next time. Have a good one.